Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. They've blessed the big and small screens for decades, and now they're coming together to bring us a controversial film on BET with a timely message. Mm -hmm. Take a look. Okay, so all ex-boyfriends are off the table. And ex-girlfriends. We're strong enough to do this, right? We'll talk to Noelle and Trevor. They've been open for years. Okay, well, the big picture is we stay committed to our marriage. And if it doesn't work... We'll just stop. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and Keith Robinson, we are so glad to have you guys back in the show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh my God, me to be here. Yeah. Don't y'all listen to Noel and them. <laughs> and Noel and Trevor, they got problems. They got they issues. Got they got issues. Oh. Yes. Oh, no. oh my God, I'm very nervous about this. But I'm going to be glued to the table. Yes. Uh, what was it about this script that made you guys come together and said we must be a part of this? Mm. I got the script when I was actually in Puerto Rico doing Girlfriend's Getaway mm -hmm. part two mm -hmm. with um, Cass Siggers yes. and, and um, Terry Vaughn and Garcelle Beauvais and, and Melinda Williams. And Cass just mentioned to me that it was something that she had written maybe a few months before and she thought I would do a great job. And I read it and I just cried. Did you? I, it just, why are you laughing? I mean, it was a, it was a, it was a nervous laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I cried because I, I really understood what Ren is thinking. Because it's Ren's idea, guys. Mm -hmm. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See? See, I get yep. it, don't See? get it. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, because I, I get where she's coming from to a certain degree because she's like, you know, because I don't want him to cheat on me, so I'd rather do this instead of him cheating. But in, in our society, it's considered taboo. Mm -hmm. So do you think that this movie in some way is breaking down any barriers or any walls that people may have about openness in a relationship? I think it's kind of putting the discussion uh, away from the water cooler and out on the table now. Because mm -hmm. I think we've all had that discussion among, amongst our friends and it's kind of unspoken and you don't want to bring it up to your your partner, because they might think you're thinking something. That you already mm -hmm. have somebody in so, mind. Yeah. Right, right. So we You've gave been sweating the people out for a while. Yeah, so we gave you a subject to watch the movie, then you can turn to them and say, hey, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> what you think about that? I don't know, just because we're watching yeah, the movie. Yeah, exactly. How you feel about that? Exactly. How you feel about that? <laughs> so it's one of those things. Well, I just say talk to Demi Moore. Didn't really work out very much, mm -hmm. very well for her at all, did, did it? Well, yeah. well, what was well, interesting is um, I actually had the privilege of, of having a, a confidential conversation with two professionals professionals who live in Atlanta, who are black, who uh, have been in an open marriage for half of their marriage. Mm -hmm. And it was interesting, I, yeah. How I, long have they been married for? 20 years. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. 20 years and open for 10. And um, they, <laughs> <laughs> they, more nervous laughter. Yeah. <laughs> Keith, Keith just got married, so you know, yeah. he's like, oh God. <laughs> Keep it cool, keep, keep exactly. it cool, okay? Black men oh don't God. cheat, by the way. Let me okay, now you and Lil Duval need to get somewhere with all of that. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, what did you all pull from one another to really bring this movie to life? Well, the great thing about us and this is that we started out working together many, many years ago mm -hmm. on Half and Half. Yeah. 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 Dee Dee and Neil. Yeah. Dee Dee and yeah. Neil. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, so we were, um, I, you know, I respect Keith not just as an artist, but I also trust him. Yeah. This had to be something that I did with someone that I trust. Absolutely. Um, right. Just because, you know, the subject matter and, and vice versa, you right. know what I mean? I, I think that's I, what people say in yes, real life, too. Yes. Um, like, do, do you really think that this movie is going to get the black community talking about this? Because we watch television and sometimes it's not a black situation. No, so. that was the point. <laughs> yeah, that exactly. was the point. And that was the yeah. reason that I, I brought up the couple, that I mentioned the couple, mm -hmm. that we actually had a conversation. And when they started doing this, they said that there was a very, it was very taboo and they had no like real guides or, or kind of guidance as to how to do it. So they created a network um, that actually helps couples who want to take this path. Now, interestingly enough, I'm going to tell you this, because I asked, I said, so since you guys have been doing this, what is the success rate of marriages that do this? I, and don't they, tell us yet then, because we are going to come back <laughs> with much more to cover. It's just it's about to and in. And Keith Robinson, we return. Yeah, come on, Vaughn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, babe. DNA results? I've never put you at risk, okay? The child is not mine. I 
after everything we've been through. You really think I'm putting myself out there like that? I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. You know, I've never broken the rules. Have you? Oh, that's gonna be juicy! <laughs> and that's what I'm saying, see? Welcome back to Sister Circle Live, mm. and we are here with the leading man and lady of BET's new movie, Open, Essence Atkins, and Keith Robinson, and oh, Chad, I was some gosh. deep and dangerous <laughs> team right there. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, but before we went to break, you yes. were talking about the success rate of couples that Right, so the couple that I actually sat down with that had been doing this for half of their marriage, 10 years of the 20, I asked, I said, so in your experience, what have you observed? And they said the success rate for marriages that are open are still about 50-50. Right, mm. okay, so there's no true gain. It's there's a gamble. no it's true. It's a gamble. Yeah, it's a gamble. I, you know, I was kind of surprised by that because yeah. I thought, yeah. oh, well, if you open your marriage up, maybe that will eliminate the yeah. distrust and the things that cause divorces from a traditional but mm. pattern. As we but seen no. in the SOT earlier, yeah. it <laughs> appears that it actually intensifies and increases yeah. the, yes. the level of trust Speeds that's not up. there anymore, right? Yeah. Now oh. we talked about keeping it real. We can't keep it we real. We gotta, keep it, we gotta keep it real when they come back after the movie premieres. Oh, so we thank you both for hanging out with us you today. You guys just got saved. Say. You <laughs> just got <laughs> saved. <laughs> say. Make sure you guys check out the movie when it premieres on BET and BET Her Saturday, March 14th at 8 p.m. Eastern. Conversations always continue on all social media platforms. It's Circle TV. Gotta watch it. I just got saved. I was about to ask them some real tea. Listen, Linda. <laughs> I want to know what the question is. I was going to ask. It was about not your characters, but your real life.